guys, welcome back to the channel, Daily on Supercars. We got Emilio here. Hey, Emilio, you was almost leaving. I had to catch you because uh -huh. you got something very nice. Guys, when you guys see this interior, Emilio, just talk to me. What, how, what have you done to this car? Um, Everything. What year is this car? Emilio, this start is from 87. Uh -huh. I initially picked up this car in Connecticut about uh, six years ago. Obviously, it was a completely stock, basic 325 one owner car. It was a BMW tech owned, so it was really taking care of a garage cab. There's no rust whatsoever, and I wanted to start with something no rust, super clean. Um, I started, first of all, I wanted to do a full engine swap. We, we threw in an S52 in there. Initially, I had an M52 engine, and uh, we had complications, so I upgraded to an S52 on a fully built engine. From pistons, rods, So this is an S52 fully S52 built? S52 fully built. Wow fully built engine and um, it's pretty stuck in here it's it's, it's like it looks stuck but this engine doesn't belong to this car this no no of course out of a 1998 m3 wow and, and it, it looks like it belongs here guys again i'm not gonna say oh my god but the way this car is looking in here yeah. the it's, engine is looking in here yeah. so every part out of this car is this engine is out of a different generation out of bmw the oil pan out of this car is out of a 2000 out of a 1998 5 series because that's the only, I love, I'm, I'm sorry, a 1994 5 Series. That's the only one who would clear the subframe. Well, otherwise, you have no enough space. Then the oil cooler out of a 2005 M3. In order for us to have cooling lines for the oil cooler. Down here, otherwise these engines don't have it. Then the valve cover. They make two different valve covers. One is a plastic and one is aluminum. If you're going to have a turbocharged engine, the plastic valve cover will completely melt. So... We swapped to a first generation called OBD1 valve cover so we could have the, the, the aluminum um, valve cover so it won't um, melt out of the heat. This is the last valve cover, last valve cover BMW manufactured. I was the last person to buy it. and after me there's no brand new one BMW. On that, on, on that sheet metal? This part here. I was the last person to order this from BMW and BMW stopped making it. If you want to order one right now from BMW, they do not make it. They call Germany, they do not make it. Oh so my. I was lucky to get the last one. Gotcha. Talk to then, me about this. Uh, what else you got? Talk. Then we have a turbo. Yeah, yeah. We upgraded to um, okay. a Garrett turbo. Okay. It's a small turbo, but makes a lot of power. It's a Gen 2, Generation 2. GTX Gen 2. So it spools quick on 2800 RPM. I mean, when you were moving back right now, it sounded like a supercharger. It has a pretty nice wine. Talk to me about that wine. So we have we have something called a TR51 mod. We sent out the, co the, the turbo cover to a company called OCD Works. What they do is they shave the inside of the turbo, the, the inlet, and uh, it makes that kind of whining noise. Nice, nice. Yeah, I mean, yes. again, when you, when you were pulling back, I'm like, yeah, man, I don't know about right. this, but this sounds pretty good. And any power figures you got to the engine? It's somewhere in the 600s right now. You're talking? This is methanol injected also. Oh, wow. So you t you're selling me 600 tank. horsepower. It's about more, a little bit more than 600. And that's to the wheels or just to, to the, the wheels? Okay, yeah. wow. That's, that's to the wheels. The that stage is. four clutch, which is very short and flywheel, very grippy. Uh, okay. We upgraded the brakes to, you're going to go fast, you need to stop fast. Woolworth big brake kit and I barely have enough clearance and I had to get the rotiform wheels in order for us to get the clearance for the big brake kit and the back has a dual caliper to get all this power on we have to reinforce the chassis reinforce the subframe the front subframe rear subframe and uh, we had to upgrade the axles on the back okay because these axles are about $1,200 each axle Oof, you said twelve hundred dollars. Oof, because they could handle up to nine hundred horsepower. Okay, that's why. They're made by special shops called Drive Shop, Drive Shaft Shop. They make drive shafts, axles, high performance car, high performance parts for drift events and drag cars. Gotcha. And talk to me about this body kit. This is this a body. Kit, this is an M3 body kit. Okay. That is not a wide body kit. It's made to be adapted into a, a regular uh, E30. Just okay. Like this. Yeah. This looks. This looks. Side skirts, front bumper, back bumper. Yeah, this looks pretty nice. And, and uh, the wind. yeah, this looks it looks pretty nice. Again, it looks like an M3 again, but right now M3 don't got nothing on this. This is something else. And talk to me about this interior, cause interior came in out of the two front seats out of uh, a '96 M3. They called Vader seats. 
we finish them with the brown interior to, to to make it a perfect combination with the blue outside oh yeah this everything inside the gauges is am gauges from a uh, two boost gauge to afr wow yeah and I, I i mean guys hopefully the camera gets it again but this interior looks factory and this car's look the car looks brand new i mean emilio i don't know what you've done to this car but i don't know if you bought it today but the car looks the car looks pretty good and you said the car is a 87 1987 wow emilio you you've done a wonderful thing here hopefully uh, uh the people on the channel can appreciate it and thank you again for the time this is something to to definitely look at and uh, uh be wonder of definitely wow this is a nice looking vehicle guys you gotta appreciate it definitely appreciate emilio for the time and uh thank you again emilio